Well, good morning, everybody. Mark Fine in here in the home weather office on this Wednesday morning. It's now the 15th day of May 2024. This is the morning briefing coming to you from the home weather office. And as I look out the window, we've got blue sky out there and, and the home weather office generally light winds. What I'm going to be talking about this morning is the wind and microclimates and how that all impacts, how the wind impacts uh, the temperatures that we see. And Today, it's going to be a sunny, beautiful day everywhere, but in the weather office yesterday, um, Heather Waldman and I probably went around for about 15 minutes discussing various temperatures in various locations uh, and varying by a couple of degrees here and there, and just because it's going to be so interesting to, to see the way the temperatures play out today um, because of the wind direction in some locations and a different wind direction in other locations. So I'm going to explain all of that. And, um, and while that's the kind of minutia that we look at in the weather office, um, if you look at the big picture, it's going to be a sunny, nice day. But when it comes down to figuring out what the temperature is going to be like in your neighborhood, well, that's where the details come in. So let's show you what's happening this morning. Satellite shows just a, another beautiful morning. Some high, thin clouds drifting down from the north, but California nice and clear. The biggest feature is the marine layer right here along the coast, inland into Napa and Sonoma, as well as into Santa Cruz and all the way down through the San, uh, Salinas Valley and pretty deep along the coast as well. So we do have marine layer. Marine layer means cool air, temperatures here. Uh, generally in the 50s, so pretty solid layer. Now, from this view, of course, we're just looking down on it, and you, from this view, you can't tell how deep it is. And how deep it is, uh, well, that's a rather significant uh, part of the equation. So for that, you have to look at what's called a, a profiler. So this is at uh, Fort Ord, and uh, the time increases to the left. So this is uh, 24 hours ago. This is the current time, and this is the depth of the marine layer in feet, 1,000 feet, 2,000 feet, 3,000 feet. And you see across the top, these are temperatures and these are degrees C. So these blue, this blue in here, as you can see, is around 10.2 to 12.2. And some of these areas um, in that pinkish color are 8.2. So in other words, it's colder. These yellow colors are warmer. So you have colder air over warmer air. This is the marine layer. And this is showing you the depth has changed over the last 24 hours. So it's around 2,000 feet deep. That's pretty good. Um, the valley really heats up when the, when the marine layer is down at 1,000 feet or less. But 2,000 feet, that's not bad. So, this, so you have this, which is 2,000 feet deep. So now what you need, if you want the valley to be cool, is to have the wind going from this cooler air into the valley. So let's take a look at where the wind is this morning. So this is rather interesting. So this is... These are eight o'clock observations. All right, so Yuba City is, uh, let's see, Yuba City's right there. This is Woodland, there's Sacramento. So look on the west side of the valley into parts of Calusa County and Yolo County. Look at these temperatures in the low to mid 70s and look where the winds are. This wind is from the north. All of these winds on the west side of the valley are from the north. You have some around Lake Berryessa, north wind, and 74 degrees, although that's at a higher elevation. But then you come down here and look at Fairfield the wind is onshore and the temperature is 56. So here's where the cool air is. It's even in Napa County. So the, the air is coming in from the bay and going into uh, Fairfield. Rio Vista is only 58. Um, and into the Delta, temperatures are in the low 60s. So it's an interesting pattern here. This north wind on the west side of the valley and you have a south wind here, and you have a huge temperature difference. So what's the wind going to do during the day today? This is the way one of the models shows it at 11 o'clock this morning. The wind increasing in speed here from the north, just about like what I just showed you, uh, not really impacting Sacramento County, but there's the onshore wind in Solano County. So at 11 o'clock in the morning, we could easily have temperatures in these areas in the 80s, where temperatures in Solano County will be in the 60s. So that's the 11 o'clock snapshot. Let's go ahead three hours later. This is uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Some of that north wind impacting northern Sacramento County. So that could be downtown Sacramento and Sac International, but maybe not so much in Elk Grove, Wilton, and Galt, where we still have some of that onshore wind. 
So this is definitely a case where in, let's say, a place like Woodland, we could see a temperature of 85 and see a temperature of 72 in Fairfield. Um, and as well as even a, a bigger warm-up in places like Butte County and around the Sutter Buttes and around uh, Yuba City. But then if you look in the San Joaquin County, that cool air is coming from the north. We see this flow right here. So Tracy and Stockton would be very comfortable. Again, that's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. At 5 o'clock in the afternoon, well, Sacramento County is ground zero for the, an increasing onshore breeze and a decreasing north breeze. So in Sacramento, we could definitely see a temperature beginning to drop because of the increasing onshore breeze. Well, Yuba City still see, stays warm. We could see a difference between Yuba City and Fairfield by this time, by 5 o'clock of 20, 25 degrees, something like that. We could be in the mid-90s here, and we could be in the low to mid-70s in Solano County. And then once we get into tonight, that's again, this is the 5 o'clock snapshot. The 8 o'clock snapshot shows that north wind completely decreasing and that south wind starting to take over, and that will bring a cooling to all locations during the day on Thursday. So it's it's... This is the kind of minutia that we look at in the weather office trying to figure out what the daytime highs are going to be. You know, when you look at the big picture, yeah, it's going to be a sunny, really nice day. Um, we will see, uh, you know, sunshine, beautiful temperatures, and we'll see subtle temperatures, uh, temperature changes over the next few days with the changing wind direction. We'll likely see the temperatures come down on Thursday and maybe in some areas go back up on Friday because some locations will likely see a return of a north wind. So like I said, you know, when it comes to weather forecasting at this time of year and as we head into the summer, this is the sort of thing that we look at and spend a lot of time on um, as opposed to looking at the big picture, trying to time out rain. How much rain are we going to get? Uh, so instead we're focusing on is it going to be 90 or 92? <laughs> but today's temperatures might be a little bit more dramatic than that. So a little insight for you on the microclimates that we have in Northern California and in the Delta. And we can see similar things in the foothills and Sierra as well. I'll save that for another discussion another morning. So that's everything I've got for you today. Make it a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. I'll talk with you later.